First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekah Kadash, and the one still is a great millstone, while it is truth, and also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the lesson is A Nation Divided. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start today, lesson, I have a, a, a quick news article here about end time uh, headlines. And it reads, it said, Pentagon uh, investigating nearly 200 soldiers they suspect are advocating or supporting the overthrow of the U.S. government. So we already know that this nation is divided. We have a weak leader. We're seeing that nations are rising against nations. We're seeing what civil unrest, uproars of the people. A lot of things are happening here right in our backyard. And things going to constantly, what, increase. Things going to, what, escalate. You know, we're seeing that we're here. You know what I'm saying? That time of trouble that we have never seen before. So we know that we are sounding like a broken record. But these are the times that we're living in. So we're seeing also that Biden had... Uh, had made a remark that if he do not get a uh, funding, a uh, hundred, I think it's a hundred, hundred billion uh, funding for uh, Ukraine, that he said that he will send, deploy U.S. Uh, troops uh, to fight Russia. You know what I'm saying? Gaslighting the uh, American people. So we already know that we have a weak leader of what? A old foolish leader. And not about, we already know that, you know, that, hey, man. He, he have bounds that he cannot pass. So we knowing that, you know, the devils get ready to come down with great wrath. We're seeing it happening right before our eyes. Also with this uh this uh UN um uh, this UN Security Council, uh which in fact uh <clears throat> the chief uh, which in fact is uh Antonio uh, uh Guterres uh has invoked uh Article ninety nine, you know, to uh to stop the uh Israel and uh Hamas uh war. But America uh has a uh, had uh, voted uh, a veto to to continue to let it go on. But one thing about it, we already knowing that what uh, the UN NATO will turn on America. It's already been prophesied, you know, in Revelation chapter 17, they shall burn the horse. So we seeing these things are going down right before our eyes. We are very excited. And the men of the Lord, we constantly what, warning you about what? About war. We warn you about pestilence. We warn you about a time of trouble. You don't say evil time. We warn you about what Jacob trouble. And also we warn you about, you know, a great death and great morning. Say, hey, man, these things are right before our eyes. And also when it, uh, the word, when you go into that word uh, to in, invoke, it means to cite or appeal something or someone. So so what that's what they're trying to do is trying to uh, stop this uh, Israel and the Hamas war because they're saying that it's a lot of uh uh, 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 overkill, you know what I'm saying? These killing these uh these Palestinians, you know, left and right. And and one thing about it, America don't want to st uh, stop it. So these other countries uh, get ready to intervene, and they're saying that if they do not stop and continue on with this war, then they will have to step in. That's just like Revelation chapter 17, Revelation chapter 18. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that these nations are what are uh, prevailing against what that great horde that sits on men of water, which in fact is a uh, Babylon. So one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. So we seeing that the Lord is what moving the chess pieces around. We seeing this right here that these soldiers in the military, you know, they are getting ready to turn against uh, their own uh, military, and I because they're what they're sick and tired of all of this. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, all of this wickedness. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it is that you know what I'm saying? Hey man. Hey, uh, it, you seeing that the nation is divided. If a nation is divided, it cannot stand. So we seeing these things happening right before I, and also we read upon that what great economic collapse. You know, everyone is what is done with the dollar. The dollar is finished. You know what I'm saying? It's constantly what circling the drain. And also we seeing that America, you know, uh, it's constantly what collapsing all around. It's decaying. You know what I'm saying? We seeing hey, man, everything is weak. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, no government. You know what I'm saying? No uh, true leaders. You know, everyone is constantly uh, disagreeing. Green, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is causing all that division. The Lord's getting ready to what bring for judgment. So we're seeing it right now. And also it is an end time uh headline. So one thing about it, we're living in the end time, real time. So hey man, we seeing it happening right before our eye, man. Hey man, Biden, you know what I'm saying? You know, we already knowing what side he on. He's on what the left hand side. So hey man, a lot of things, 
are constantly happening all around us. You know what I'm saying? Also, that Article 99, when you go into it, it said to bring attention uh, to uh, a matter, you know what I'm saying, that threatened the uh, the security, of, uh, uh, international security, when they what, say peace and safety. So I got a little video to bring it out a little bit more. But one thing about it is that, hey, man, we seeing that all these things are lining up, you know what I'm saying? We're very excited. That's why it's time to seek the Lord, why it can be found. And also we know that famine of the world is fast approach. In the middle of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We're standing on our watch and we're standing on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh It is time to seek the Lord because one thing about it is that we're seeing that the door of repentance Close. The Lord's getting ready to bring, uh, bring it to a close. He's getting ready to bring for what judgment. And I advise you know we're at the end of an end. We're seeing it happening right before our eyes. We're seeing that what the kingdom of heaven is what is it getting ready to be birth. The kingdom of heaven that what that dwell dwells in what in righteousness. Hey man, we are very excited. You know what I'm saying? So rejoice ye heaven. And hey man, we're here. So let's get a quick precept before we start today. Let's let's go here to uh. <clears throat> Let's go here to Mark chapter 3, and we'll start up at verse 24. Mark chapter 3 and verse 24. One moment. We get there one moment. <clears throat> Mark chapter 3 and verse 24. And it reads, said, And if a man, I mean, Salak, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Let's read that again. Uh, Mark chapter 3 and verse 24 said, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Verse 25, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Verse 26, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but has a end. And one thing about it, we're seeing that his end is fast approaching. He got what bounds you know what I'm saying? That he cannot pass. That's why we know that he's getting ready to bring forth his what his agenda, his plan. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing it happening right before our this digital society. You know what I'm saying? We seeing the MOTB. All these things are ready. We seeing that the stage is set. You know, so we seeing that we're here. You know what I'm saying? And out about it, we seeing that you know the Lord is is, is shedding light. You know what I'm saying? On what Esau Edom, the modern day so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We see that he's making him bare and bare each and every day. The Lord is what? Is removing the covering cat. So we seeing all these things are going on right here in our backyard. We seeing that our border is weak. We are all sorts of things are constantly happening left and right. And I about even though we're sound like a broken record, but these things are constantly happening right before our eyes. And I about we're warning you. We're blowing the trumpet. The Lord said, keep not sad. Warn them for me. And I by eight, man. We're here. Let's read this one more time. Mark chapter 3 and verse 24 said, it said, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So we're seeing that right now. Hey man, this this nation is is divided, you know, all the way through the center. You know what I'm saying? So we already know all hell is getting ready to break loose. Verse 25 said, and if a house uh be divided against it itself, that house cannot stand, it cannot stand. Verse 26 said, said, and if Satan rise up against himself and he be divided, I mean, and be divided, he cannot stand, but has a end. And not about the modern day, what? Uh, modern, uh, the physical counterpart of Satan is the what? The so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So we're seeing that it's going to be Egyptian against Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? City against city. All these things are getting ready to come upon us, you know, at a fast pace. It's all MS rumors of wars all over the place. Hey, man, this place is finished. We're seeing that, hey, man, uh, hey, uh, America, Babylon, the great day has come. And one hour, thy judgment comes. So, We'll start the day. Let's a quick lesson through the spirit. Let's go here. Let's start the videos. And after the videos, we'll start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. It's time to pay attention. Did you hear about this? They are investigating individuals in every branch of the military. The government is saying that the number of service members that serve right now are becoming so fed up with everything that it is becoming a massive problem. Everyone is sick and tired of watching our leaders run our country into the ground. You know you've messed up when your own military is ready to fight against the government. Things are heating up.
We have some major breaking news. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guerres has invoked Article 99 on Israel, calling out their atrocities that's being committed against the people of Gaza. And if you don't know what Article 99 means, it basically forces the Security Council to have a serious discussion on the war that's happening in Gaza or any sort of matter that they consider an international threat to security around the world. This is a major historic moment because the United Nations Secretary General rarely ever invokes Article 99 unless they believe it's uh, of utmost importance. Not only is this the first time in which uh, Antonio Guerres, the current Secretary General, invoked Article 99, but it's the first time that it's ever been invoked since the 80s. You can see the contents of the letter here in which he calls out the severe humanitarian crisis that is arising as a result of this war, calling out also the atrocities in which the Israeli army has been committing towards the people of Gaza, which is why he's been calling for a permanent ceasefire ever since October. This is a major moment and this could change a lot going forward. The U.S. is fucking done. They're not going to come back from this. We are not going to come back from this. I am so sick of their shit. Out of the 15 members, U.S. vetoed, Britain abstained, the other 13 members were for it. I am so sick of their fucking bullshit. It's not an issue about isolation. It's an issue about what we think is best to try and end this conflict as soon as possible and also help facilitate more humanitarian assistance going into Gaza. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I... The rage I feel in my soul is... I've never felt this before. So we see that we are, are very close, you know what I'm saying, to that time. We see it that, hey, man, hey, man, any given time, man, they can, hey, man, they can say this, they can say that. So, hey, man, these things are, are constantly, you know, popping left and right, man. Prophecies, man, they are rolling. So we start the day lesson. So we seeing that what America is doing and Israel are doing, you know, so that's why I said the least of the flock shall, shall what draw them out. So let's start off in uh, Isaiah chapter, quick lesson through the spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Isaiah chapter uh, 19, start here. Random scriptures that's rolling in the spirit. Uh, Revelation, I mean, the Salakia, uh, <clears throat> a little bit under weather. Uh, Isaiah chapter 19, and we'll start up at verse, at verse 2. Isaiah chapter uh, 19 and verse 2 and said, and it reads, said, and I will set the Egyptian against uh, the Egyptian and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. So we see that this is lining up just like clockwork. We see an uprising all over the place. We see an area. Every everyone across the world is turning on what America, Babylon the Great, and out by you know we seeing that every hand of what of the wicked, you know what I'm saying, the people, uh, even the nation that was at peace uh, with uh, with America, now they are constantly what are uh, prevailing. They are constantly what are uh, devising their enterprise, you know. So we knowing that what the heathens are raging. So these things are going to happen. Sedition among men, you know what I'm saying. Amen. All sorts of things. Uh, get ready to come down the pipeline. We're seeing that, man, any given day, even though we, we're we approaching these uh, pagan holidays. You know, while you're sleeping, the devil is constantly getting busy. So, hey, man, any given time. Uh, verse 3, it says, it says, uh, and the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek the idols and to the uh, charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizard and i about you know that's just like lined up with what isaiah 47 stand now in in thy chapman so well, ain't, ain't a damn thing is going to work this time around because one thing about the lord is getting ready to bring what his enterprise to a close and i but we seeing that hey, amen that esau is the end of this earth hey, and jacob is the beginning of it that follows so we so when you go to spirit of egypt you know what i'm saying we already know what the modern day egypt is is america and out about it, you know what i'm saying also you know it represents the what the house of bunch so one thing about it said we seeing that the lord is causing all these things to happen we seeing that these things will constantly what increase you know, to his great and glorious return. So we see that this nation is constantly dividing left and right. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that people are, 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 are angry. We seeing that, you know what I'm saying? They're not uh, satisfied with the government. So, you know, they shall not regard their kings or their prince. You know what I'm saying? The government or law enforcement. 
you know what I'm saying, each other, you know what I'm saying, city against city. We're seeing that happen. Sleeper cells all over the place, you know what I'm saying, hey, man. I hate to, uh, you know, just like I say, hey, one thing about it, we see in this every day something just, you know what I'm saying, the Lord said, if you see something, say something. He's the Lord said, warn them for me. You know what I'm saying, that's what we're doing each and every day, whether you were here or whether you will forbear. So we're seeing that, hey, man, it's coming down to the why. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, that the Lord is getting ready to break it. And a lot of our people still right now are still, uh, 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 right now they're just uh, walking dead right now. They're getting ready to be physically dead. They're getting ready to feel the fire. We're constantly warning you left and right. Hey, hey, we don't give a damn whether you believe it or not. It's getting ready to come to pass. One thing about it, wait, man, we're at the end of the world. Whether you believe it or not, it is time to wake up and seek your true power. Because, man, we're here. So now, let's go here to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter uh, 49. Jeremiah chapter 49, and we start up at verse 7. Jeremiah chapter 49. <clears throat> so like it. 49. We start up at verse 7. And it reads, said, Concerning Edom, thus said the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Tima? Is counsel is the counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Verse eight said, "He said, flee ye, turn back, uh, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, or uh, the time that I will visit him." And I advise, so we already know that the Lord is visiting the earth. The Lord is what, what make inquisition. So we seeing that the what the wisdom of what Esau Edom. The so-called white man is constantly what? Is is breaking up. It's constantly what? Fading away. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that the Lord is constantly what? Is uh is constantly what confounding him. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to bring forth that judgment. So we see it. They can't make decisions. You know, they can't come together on this. They come can't come together that we have a weak, stupid, old. A uh, weak leader, which in fact is not our leader. Our leader is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? The King of the Universe. And I one thing about it, man, we cannot wait for this this place to go. Get that we ready to get the hell out of here. Verse nine, it said, "If a uh, great gathers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaming grapes? If if thieves by night, they will destroy till they uh, have enough." But one thing about that, hey, Esau, he going he to constantly rob, steal, and kill. You know, he have spoiled many nations. Now, but he don't want to leave a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like with this right here, you know, he, he, he won't leave no grapes. He'll take the whole goddamn tree. You know what I'm saying? This, he, he's a wild ape, and the Lord's getting ready to take him out of rulership. Let's read this again. Uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 49 and verse 9. He said, if uh, great gathers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaming grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. One thing about it, they're going to constantly destroy. That's why the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? You know, except those days be short. You know what I'm saying? And, and I about it, you know, there will be what? No flesh saved a, 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 a lie. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. But this damn devil, he's going to keep. What robbing, stealing, and killing, you know what I'm saying, until he destroyed the whole earth, including himself. That's why this wild, this wild man got to be taken out of rulership. The what the the, the, the hey man, this vile man, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, the beast of the earth, you know what I'm saying? That bloody deceitful man. The Lord's getting ready to take him out of, ru of rulership very soon. And we cannot wait. Very, very soon. Verse 10 said, But I have but I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbor, and he is not. So we see that the Lord is constantly uncovering all his uh his secret counsel. We see that the Lord is constantly uh taking away that left hand energy, all those enchantment, all that what black magic, you know what I'm saying, his wizard, you know what I'm saying, that left hand energy. Energy, the Lord is taking that away, and I because one one thing about it is that the Lord is getting ready to what usher in a new enterprise. Boy, we cannot wait. We seeing it happening right before. I, so the Lord is constantly what is putting is is getting ready to bring Esau down, and also these heathen nations, and also the Lord is getting ready to what to judge these what two thirds, these wicked two thirds that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem So now let's drop drop down to verse twenty. 
Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 20. <clears throat> and it reads that, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Edom and his, uh, and his purpose uh, that he has proposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make them make their inhabit habitation desolate with them. So that is about it. So one thing about it, we knowing that Israel and America, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed together. So we seeing that uh that this uh uh Antonio uh Guterres, uh the chief uh uh, uh UN uh Security Council leader uh, said that you know he he had to uh won't saying that he will invoke uh Article ninety nine which in fact you know is to stop that Israel and Hamas war you know because of the violence all of the unnecessary killing well really in fact it's overkill and they, these other nations are getting ready to step in that line up with Revelation chapter what seventeen we seeing it right before our eyes man. Man, hey, man, the Bible is spot on. We're seeing it. So one thing about it, so so the least of the flock is drawing, uh, it, 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 which in fact is Israel, is drawing America out. So America uh, had voted to veto uh, this Article 99. The, the only country which in fact is is, is America is vetoed. We, see, we already know it. We're not uh, ignorant of Satan device. And not about, we already know it. He's constantly what? Poking the bear. And not about one thing about it. The bear is getting ready to uh, let him have it very soon. We already know it. he's getting ready to what? The vile must, uh, must flesh. Putin is getting ready to get the job done, getting ready to destroy, uh, destroy a mark. We cannot wait. It's already been prophesied. So now let's go here to uh, Revelation chapter uh, 17. Revelation chapter 17. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 17. And let's start at verse 16. Revelation chapter uh, 17. And in verse 16, it said, And the ten horns with thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So one thing about it, so we already knowing that this article uh, 99, you know what I'm saying, they uh, have invoked, you know, to uh, to stop this war, you know what I'm saying, this all this senseless killing, all this uh, destruction. And these other nations are stepping in. So we already knowing that uh, the UN, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the NATO is going to turn against America. And also they're going to make her desolate, which, which in fact with those what IBCM missiles and I bet that furb and heat, they shall burn her with that fire. You know what I'm saying? One thing about, hey man, the Lord's getting ready to bring that fire. The indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So we seeing it, you know what I'm saying? Right before I, it is happening. You know what I'm saying? Hey man. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. So we seeing that hey, 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 that transition of power is taking place right before I and also the Lord as well is gathering the nation. So we seeing that uh, 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 this uh, UN leader, uh, chief UN leader, Antonio Guterres, you know, has uh, is calling to invoke, you know what I'm saying? I mean, calling uh, Article 99. To stop this war, so a uh, a what a ceasefire, you know. Hey, so we seeing this happening right before I and the ten horns, which in fact is NATO, or which thou uh, saw it upon the beast. These shall hate the whore Babylon the Great America, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That what those IBCM miss and this place is getting ready to go. We seeing it happen right before I, you know, as you go into that beast that going into that, what the revised Roman empire. Hey man, man, we seeing that we're here. It's spot on verse uh, uh, 17 said for the almighty has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the world of the Almighty shall be fulfilled, and out about it, hey man, Lord's get ready, to, hey, get ready to do it, man. We seeing that, hey man, the implement of this what MOTB, this grain of rice, and we knowing that all hell is get ready to break loose, and also we knowing that our salvation is very close than we yet believe. So let's go here to uh, Job chapter fourteen, Job chapter fourteen, and verse, I think it's verse five, Job chapter fourteen and verse five, yeah. And it reads as seeing his days are determined. 
the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bow that he cannot pass. So we know that we at that time, you know what I'm saying? We in that transition of power. We're at the end of a what? A eon. We're at the end of what? Esau kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Esau is the end of this world, which in fact is this temple world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So he's seeing that his days are determined. That's why when you go to Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, you don't say that devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. So we, we already know that, hey man, war is getting ready to break out all over the world. So the Lord's going to come in the midst of World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Right when everything is popping, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to show up. And he's going to show out and out about it. And the Lord's going to lay all our enemies down, even with the ground. Hey, man, he knowing that his time is up. It is our time to rule. Hey, man, we cannot wait. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here. Let's close out with second every chapter. Uh, I've been quoting it. Second every chapter uh, six and verse nine. We'll close out here. Second every chapter uh, six and verse nine. And it reads, really said, for Esau is the end of, of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we're very close to that time. You know what I'm saying? This is the temporal world. We're in that transition of power. This heaven and this earth age is getting ready what to fade away. And the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteous righteousness, which in fact is Jacob kingdom, which in fact is Israel, you know what I'm saying? Is getting ready to come forth. You know what I'm saying? The world went without end. And not about it, we cannot wait. So man, hey man. One thing about it, we're seeing that these prophecies are constantly lining up. We're seeing that we're getting very close to the end. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that uh, these things are getting ready to increase perilous time, a dangerous time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We know that we're coming upon this time. We know that Jacob's trouble is at the door. Our temptation. We know that World War Three has begun. Things are getting ready to increase. And one thing about it is that, you know what I'm saying, your, your faith is getting ready to be tried. And not about one thing, as gold is, is tried in a fire. One thing about it, you getting ready to be found worthy of the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is A Nation Divided. So I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. I'd like to say, Shalom, Shalom.